Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. A couple of days ago, about three days ago actually, I made a video uh, and in that video I was talking about and filming a very strange place in middle of nowhere in Prineville, Oregon. And uh, it was a giant, giant construction. You know, the whole property was roughly one mile by half a mile or more, give or take. Uh, the, um, the, the sheer size of it was something I've never seen before. It was giant. It was, you know, fenced around with a fence that was about 12 feet tall. And I didn't know what to think about it. I didn't know if that was some FEMA camp or if it was some detention center that they were building. I just didn't know what to think. And uh, it turned out to be, many of you <clears throat> have mentioned in the comment section that that was probably data center for who knows what, for Google or for Facebook or for some other social media and I got thinking social media most likely that's what it is because obviously many of you said the same thing so it's gotta be it it has to be has to be true and I got thinking about social media you know I've never seen construction like that before in my life uh, it was just uh, crazy, you know, I've been to construction sites when they are building skyscrapers in the middle of uh, Seattle and it didn't look as impressive as this was and It sure made me think a few things uh, number one the Size of it and then it would be filled up with all sorts of computers to collect all that data, you know, whether it's a Google, whether it's a Facebook or whatever other social media platform. And uh, let's, let's use Facebook as an example, you know. Facebook, you know, appears to be just nice, friendly uh, social media platform where you can share the pictures with your family and friends, with the loved ones, and stay in touch. But um, it appears to be just harmless. And after looking at it, without even knowing how much that could cost, I have no idea. I can't even imagine that place has to be uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of square feet. It's basically acres, acres, probably dozens of acres of floor space filled up with computers. That's got to cost probably hundreds of millions if not billions maybe some of you who have an idea can leave it in the comments below what project like that would cost here's my Prius by the way I'm parked in this in the city park not far away from my home I'm home just for a few days going back on the road tomorrow and there's my Prius with more than 600,000 miles still running anyway um, and I got thinking about cost of that building how much could it cost hundreds of millions if not billions and all of that so you can share your pictures so you can stay in contact with the loved ones. How generous of them. They're spending 
hundreds of millions or billions of dollars just out of their good heart. And of course, any rational person will say no. There has got to be some darker side to it. It's definitely not their generosity. All that to collect information, and this was brand new construction, but all these data centers for all these platforms, Google being the biggest probably, and then after that is Facebook, and after that everything else, Instagram, Snapchat, they collect this data and they probably keep it in there forever. Every picture, every comment, every video that's been posted, every Google search, every photo, some goofy photo you might send on a Snapchat, everything being stored that it can be used one day against you or maybe not used against you but just to know who you are you know probably every transaction in the store the only way to be a ghost to them is to use cash only pay everything in cash and not being not not to use those social media platforms don't use google for the, your search don't use gps <clears throat> because i'm sure gps is also being stored on where you going uh, where you've been to all your trips this park has so many squirrels my daughter loves to come in here and give these squirrels nuts. She just loves squirrels. I do too, they're pretty, pretty cute little critters. And there are a lot of them in this park. Anyway, here is one. And it looks like over there is another. Let's see if I can... Zoom it and find it. Oh yeah, there's another one. There's a lot of squirrels here. Anyway, I digress a little bit from the main topic. And so, uh, make long story short, all these data centers that what appears to be where I made delivery to the other day, three days ago, everything is being stored and Everything is being stored and you're just being watched by big brothers, you know, they, if you use your credit card, you use your GPS, you use your social media, and most people use a lot of social media. The only social media I have and use is YouTube. I know it is social media also. But since I make, you know, my content and uh, since, I, since I also love to watch a bunch of other YouTube videos from other YouTubers, I gotta keep that one on. But I personally deleted every other social media I used to have. I used to have Facebook, I used to have Instagram, I used to have Snapchat. And I deleted all that. I don't have none of it anymore. The other thing is left YouTube. And I just wanted to tell you my conclusion. And, you know, you can agree or disagree with me, you know. It's just my opinion. But um, social media is definitely is not your friend. And social media is, is basically an evil thing that collects data, data on you. 
you know, and everything you do, things you buy, things you, places you go. You know, I never understood this when some people would leave their locations at airport or restaurants. Why would you want to give away things that you do, places you are at? They already know a lot and you just give them even more. Think about it for a minute, you know. Do what I will, of course, you know, you can do whatever you want. But I would say stay away from social media as much as possible. It is, in my opinion, quite evil. All right, thanks for watching this video and thanks for being on this platform um, leave a comment if you wish to and leave your opinion what you think about everything i said and we'll see you in the next upload take care stay safe and try to be a ghost as much as possible i, I think in the long run it'll benefit you if you can, use your cash where you can. Don't use GPS unless you absolutely must. Delete all the platforms, except for YouTube, in my opinion. And not because I'm on YouTube, but it is truly useful, useful platform. There is a lot you can learn from YouTube. So learn while you can. Use it to your advantage, basically. But other social media platforms, even these apps like WhatsApp or Viber, they are, they are controlled and I'm sure there's, you know, they know, you just give them more to know about you by using them. Of course, if you want to just socialize with somebody who is outside of this country or outside of any country and you can use to socialize with your family for free which is cool but this is also exactly why it's free facebook is free you know whatsapp viber is free you search your google for free but you know the only truly what is free is piece of cheese in the mousetrap Nothing is free, if you really think about it. All right, I've been talking already too long, so thanks for watching once again. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.